So let's uh, learn about how one can use spices in the cooking. And we'll go over the process that is called tadka in the North Indian cooking. And it's actually a wide, widely used style of cooking in other parts of the world as well. Uh, so what is tadka? So tadka is preparing a sort of base which is used for all kind of cooking. Whether you're cooking vegetables, you're cooking some uh, chicken. For example, this chicken, uh, the yellow color of the chicken comes from the use of tadka. So we'll go over the process of how one uses tadka and then we'll make these lentils using the tadka. So the first part of the tadka is using these three elements of garlic, onions, and red onion, and ginger. So I have a piece of uh, onion that I already cleaned out so I don't start crying when you make this onion. So I'm going to just uh, chop this up. And you can chop it in many different ways, but I'm going to just simply chop it up in slices and then dice it a little more. All this carefully. So you can see the health benefits of the onion. You can just feel it, how healthy this little guy is. So you cut this up and I'm going to just put it in a separate bowl and use it later. So we have our onions. And part of what one has to learn with Indian cooking is you don't have to be precise. So don't have to make them exactly precise. Don't have to use the spices very, very precisely. Uh, so learn to be just creative as you're cooking. And as you cook more and more, you start fine-tuning your taste and texture. So here are the onions. I'm going to put them here. Let's take some garlics. So I'm going to take some cloves of garlic, and they're already peeled up. And I'm going to just, and garlic again. If you can develop the taste for garlic, it's a fantastic thing. If you don't have taste for garlic, work on developing the taste. And you'll be surprised in a few months, your taste will develop and you'll start enjoying it. Of course, if you're allergic to any of these things, you shouldn't use them. So even if something is healthy for a human being, it may not suit you. So always listen to your own body. And if you're allergic to something, totally avoid it. But if you're simply not having the taste yet, work on developing the taste because this is a very healthy style of cooking. So I'm going to take this, put it to the side. So garlic is another element of tarka. And then I'm going to use the ginger. So I'm going to just uh, prepare a little bit of ginger. So I'm going to use about this much. And I'm going to just scrape the ginger skin off carefully. And once again, if a little bit of skin goes in, it's no big deal. And then that's pretty good. So I'll just put this aside. And actually, I'm going to take this ginger and uh, toss it for the plant so you can have it. And then I'll just cut a little piece and I'll chop it into small pieces. Or you can also grate it if you feel like just grating it. And if you grate it, it's much finer. It won't come into your food as a big chunk. Some people really like eating ginger as a chunk, but if you don't, you can grate it. But either way, it's really fantastic for cleansing your blood. It's very anti-nauseous. So if you're feeling any nausea, ginger is great. As you know from ginger ale, the drink, of course, which also has a lot of sugar. So this is the real stuff. No sugar, nothing added to it. So I've cut a bunch, and I'm going to use it to make the lentils later on. So here is some ginger. And this is OK for a small meal. I'm going to take this, put it here. So those are the elements. So those go in, and then additionally, of course, the most important thing is the spices. So I'm going to just take out some spices, and I'm going to add 
turmeric, which goes in every meal. So turmeric is something you really want to put in. Very little bit of salt. And then this garam masala, which is also a mixture of spices. So it already has a bunch of spices, five or six spices in it. So I'm going to take this. And then we have some whole spices. And what we'll do is, uh, let me just crush it with, so I'm going to take some spices and just, so what you're seeing is, uh, it's really a mixture. You do whatever feels good to you. You don't have to be very precise. It's nothing like elaborate cooking. So you just, the mustards and cumin, coriander, seeds, celery seeds. So as you're crushing it, you can see the flavor coming out. So these are already ground and they're prepared, but these are seeds, so you need to bring out the flavor. So you just crush it and I'm going to just include them also. I'm going to just mix everything up and keep it here. And these things, of course, are very little. They don't ca contain many calories, but they are the heart of the cooking, especially if you're cooking vegetarian food. It adds that flavor to the cooking that really gives it a fullness, like you feel you've eaten something really good for yourself and, of course, very, very delicious. So you stop thinking that the only way to have fantastic food is to have beef or other meats in it. You can have the same experience, even better experience. And of course, your heart will know the difference because heart will be much happier. So we're going to cook these lentils. And first, we'll do a tadka. And we'll prepare the lentils just by adding water and just this lentil is prepared very, very quickly. And then we'll add tarka to the lentil. And that's the basis of this style of cooking where you make the tarka and you can add it to lentils of all kinds. You can add it to chicken, you can add it to any other meat or any other vegetable. So the basic thing, once you master how to do the tarka, which is these three elements, and we'll bring it inside and we'll uh, prepare the tarka and then we'll prepare the meal. So everything is here. We'll bring inside. Let's clean up the lentils just a little bit so they're nice and clean. We can drain it out and I'm just going to catch some of the lentils that want to go out. Put them back in. So Okay, once the lentil is clean, I'm just going to add some water. These lentils cook very, very quickly, so I don't need any pressure cooker or anything else. So there's a little bit of uh, white water sort of coming out. I'm going to drain it out. Add some water. I'll make the tarka. I'll turn the fire on. And an important thing in Indian, in this style of vegetarian or Indian cooking is also to keep an eye on what's going on because once again, if I need to add more water, I can add it. If it seems like I have too much water, I can drain it. Okay, so next thing I'll do is I'm going to prepare, get ready for this tarka. So I'm going to set the fire and turn it down a little bit. You can use, for the oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use ghee, which is clarified butter. Uh, you can use all kind of, you, I'm just using olive oil, which is not the best, but it's very healthy. So olive oil burns, so you have to be very careful. I'm going to just use some olive oil, but I'll try to keep the temperature low so it doesn't burn. So I'm going to just let it warm up for a moment. So as I'm preparing the dal, I can just stir it a little bit and so it doesn't stick at the bottom. And if I have extra water, I can drain it out, but it looks like this will be fine. It will just kind of get absorbed. And I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. So as I prepare the tarka, the dal will be ready. Then I just add the tarka to the dal, and that's it. So I'm going to now add the onions. 
And once again, experiment as you're doing it. Don't be afraid. So, just make, keep an eye on it. Make sure nothing burns. Here's the ginger I chopped. I'll add the ginger. And these are pieces of garlic I had cut up. And if you don't like biting into bigger pieces, you can cut them smaller. But biting into a piece of ginger is fun too. So you can't smell this, but it smells really good. And I can also keep an eye, if you see though, keep stirring this. So I'm looking at both the things together and very soon the dal will be pretty much ready and it might be ready almost at the same time when my tarka gets ready. So I'm going to add the spices. And if you want an extra bit of hotness to your meal, you can add some red chili, you can add a green chili to it. Uh, and green chili is particularly useful, you can just take a big green chili, chop it up or even add the whole chili. So the tarka, this is the base that is then used for almost all Indian style cook cooking, especially North Indian cooking. And that's all that is used, adds the flavor, adds a lot of uh, health food benefits because you can add spices. So I could be adding this to a vegetable dish such as uh, potatoes and peas or carrots and peas or green beans or zucchini or chickpeas or any kind of lentils. The same thing, pretty much the same thing. Now you may decide to make things, chop them finer or less or make paste out of the garlic but it pretty much works. So this is almost done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wait and see if my, you can see the dal is pretty much ready so I'm going to just taste it. That's pretty much ready so in a minute and the water added was reasonable so if you happen to add more water you can take it out. So I'm going to turn the tarka off and what I'll do is, since my dal is almost ready, I'm going to just take the tarka and add it to dal. So I've made quite a bit of tarka. I'm going to add half of it to the dal so that I could then add it to something else if I want. So you don't have to make separate tarka unless you really want to. So I could have used this for something else. So if I was making a vegetable dish or chicken or something else, I can use this in that. And you can see the turka is being added. And since I don't have anything else to cook today, I'm going to add all of it. So I don't have to, but I'll add all because it makes it even more delicious. And the dal is done, so I'm going to turn it off. It just took about 10 minutes. And it's full of protein, vitamins, nourishment, plus all the ginger we added, all the garlic we added. So it makes a fantastic meal. So it can be had with the roti, which we haven't shown how to make yet, but in a different video you can show it. There is a roti and I can uh, just take a little bit added making a spoon out of roti like this and that's how it's eaten in the Indian style so I'm going to just blow on it very good <laughs> <laughs>